Hi, this is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine. I'm with Wayne Honer uh, with Emerge Seed, and we're outside of Vandalia, Illinois. Wayne, you got a combine going in the background here, and you've uh, been you've had some farmers, and you've been telling them about non-GMO seeds. Um, what's the what's the deal? I thought we were all traits now. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, first of all, you mentioned the combine in the background, so uh, what a difference a year makes. Um, these are different times, and uh, I've supported technology uh, my career and, and still huge proponent of, of technology, but we're in a different spot is, is where we are, and we know that there's customers that they want, uh, want non-GMO. I think our timing is, is good for the simple fact that there's been a lot of chemistry that's uh, been overused, and so we're seeing a lot of weed resistance, uh, something that we probably didn't anticipate, and uh, so therefore I, I believe our timing is right to be conventional. So it can save the gas and money. But secondly, secondly, where we are in our industry with, with eMERGE is we're coming out with, with lines that have improved grain composition. So we actually are different than just even being non-GMO. Okay. We actually work with that end user. So whether or not that's a poultry integrator or a swine integrator or uh, the aquaculture market or maybe a food company. And they tell us what they want and then we bring that back through a breeding program. Okay. And so we have uh, products that are much higher protein, but also some that hi have higher protein with lower levels of reduced, uh, maybe uh, an amino acid to make the feed efficiency so much better for that individual species. So we actually have a kind of a pres prescribed look at, uh, at our breeding program of what our actually goals are and the goal is to make it more valuable for that for that end use of that product. What kind of grower are you targeting then? Is that uh, is this a special kind of guy or? You know, that's a really that's a great question. Um, years ago, I would have said yes, but yet now I think everybody is looking for options, and uh, we you know we're not a commodity, and and every grower uh, that that we all talk to, they're not commodities either. Uh, they're all looking for different things. They're all looking for different uses. Uh, they all farm differently, and so we feel the same. Uh, we, we believe that uh, farmers are looking for better choices. Uh, we believe that farmers are looking for uh, uh, some alternatives in the typical commodity, and that's what we're trying to, uh, tr to provide. Okay, and you know, today you've talked about some um, protein levels of 45%. Um, we've talked about some pretty high yields, uh, that they're not taking a yield penalty, but they do have to manage a little bit more carefully and do things a little differently than just once over with Roundup, right? Yes, they do. So if you're talking about the weed control management, absolutely. But I think those days are here that no matter whether or not they're using glyphosate or not, uh, they're still having to manage their, their weed control. In fact, some of the cleanest fields I've seen all summer actually are those that have used a conventional herbicide program that are on non-GMO crops and not that's just Roundup Ready because of the weed resistance. So that part of management is, uh, I think, is, is clearly being defined over the last couple of years where we just see so much weed resistance. The second part of management, though, is the identity preservation. And so if these have a particular use, then we need to treat these totally separately. And uh, so since they're not commodity, they're not going into the normal chain, we're going to have identity preservation through planting all the way through harvesting. So, uh, so the grower do, does need to, to, uh, to take some course of action to make sure that he, uh, he understands that. But at the same time, uh, he's going to be rewarded for that as well. Okay, thank you very much.